and listen. Just have it going in the background. No my word. I'm sure there's at least one person out there who's done podcasts and feels totally insulted when they find other people look at things on another tab while just listening to them. <laughs> uh, I mean, like, what's to look at else the time? Some people yeah, that's try... Not the right level. I mean, some people have, like, face cam when they ever do that. Oh. And then some people right. have, like, the audio um, wavelengths. That sort of visual playing, which I think uh, is kind of cool. It gives some visual stimulation, but probably the really only good. podcast that I can bear to watch and not just listen to while I'm doing something else is uh, TTV. They're, they're like a, a Lego group. They used to just focus on Bionicle, but they can't exactly do that anymore. So they branched out to uh, Lego things in general. They have like this brick feed podcast where they'll they'll talk about they'll talk about news sets and so on. So. They'll bring up images of what they're talking about, so you can see like all the little details are pointing out, and it feels kind of like you're there with them. But that's like a special case. Most podcasts are not like as well edited as theirs are. Oh, and they also have like, yeah. a chat going on while they do some of these, so you can see like what people were saying in the, the chat, kind of like we see in this stream right now. Yeah, I I like that. Something All right, guys, can we, can we, uh, not you guys, uh, but guys in the chat, can we maybe calm down the, the conversation a little bit? It's getting a little raunchy. What's up, Mark? How we doing? <laughs> I just remembered the Photoshop somebody made of a Caramel M&M's poster, like on the side of a building. Oh, yeah. They the edited it, so it said, we put cum in M&M's. <laughs> so when I had a capture, like, finally. <laughs> Rico Harbor, you can get like a lot of blue coins right up front. Yeah. All right. I like how some of the water here is covered in the goop, but not all of it. And the last few coins on Bianco Hills, well, you need Yoshi for. This warehouse, I mean, th this warehouse is tiny. <laughs> Barely sticks out the it walls. Is. Who knows, maybe it's like a cave. Maybe they carved out a chunk of the mountainside and just put the warehouse inside it. You know, alright. You know what Let's show I finished today? Do it. What? I finished Death Note. Have you ever seen that? Ah, yeah! I saw it back in the day when it was on TV. Good. I'm really happy that I saw it. I'm not a fan of anime that much, but... It was pretty okay. Yeah, I know. Unlike, unlike Weavasaur on the podcast. You know, it's it's Ryan. weird. It's like, I think it's interesting yeah. that you enjoyed that Ryan. one in particular because the ones are like that are Ghost in the Shell. People try to make it out like you have to be Japanese in order to really appreciate them because it's about their culture, their like right. cities, and and how they go about their lives. So a Western person wouldn't understand. It. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, I really like Death Note a lot. The music was really good. The the whole yeah. character arc was great. I liked it. You know, what I'm about to say is going to spoil something for this next show I want to mention. Code Geass. I'm not going to say a lot about it, but I found that kind of interesting because it aired on like Toonami right around the same time Death Note did back in like 2006 to 7, and at least I think that's when it happened. And here's the thing, Death Note, it's, it's a story about a guy going mad where he yeah. gets this power and he becomes a full-blown supervillain by the end of it, laughing maniacally and killing More everybody. like a sociopath. I mean, villain would imply that he's got, like... I mean, he's got, like, I don't know. He He's more, like, deranged than a villain, you know? But here's the interesting thing about Code Geass. It has a very similar premise, where some high school guy gets this amazing power and he can compel people to do whatever he wants. He takes over their minds and stuff. And they make you think that it's going to end the same way Death Note did. He eventually becomes the Emperor of Britannia and, and then takes over the world and everybody hates him because everything sucks now. But then, he has his best friend come and assassinate him in a parade in front of the whole world while everyone's watching. And that was all part of his plan, you see, to make you think he's turning into a villain like Light did in Death Note. And, geez, I'm, I'm spoiling a lot of people in the chat. 
but his whole plan was, I am going to be, be such a douchebag that all of the people in the world will be united to forget about their wars and focus all of their hatred upon me so that the day I get assassinated, there'll be world peace and everyone will be happy, yay! I posted because they all focused did it. on him. Sorry to interrupt, but I posted a link to Jay's reviews. <laughs> okay. Hold that, that out. But yeah, that's a pretty cool twist, huh? A guy like makes everybody in the world hate him so that yeah. they can be united against him, and then they'll all be happy when he's gone. That's kind of like Watchmen. Oh, yeah. Again. Easy. So it's funny because if, if not for that, Code Geass probably wouldn't stand out at all as a show. But no, you really gotta make use of a sliding g gimmick to get to some of these blue coins. Uh, well, you're supposed to use the hover or the turbo nozzle for that, but you can oh. use the the water slide thing to well, get it early. It's just nice that there's more than one way to get these. Mhm. Mm Look at that. We've already got like. 14 of those coins in this level, and we haven't even got a single shine. It's the real wow. And that's not even all we can get at the beginning. Mm -hmm. Rico, Rico Harbor is probably my favorite level for, for uh, blue coins. I love Rico <laughs> Harbor. It's funny what you say about Death Note's music. I do agree it's very good for the most part, but one of the theme songs... I just, it sounds like somebody's whining through their nose. <laughs> I mean, I, I like the orchestral <laughs> pieces a lot, yeah. Uh, I thought the ending thing was pretty badass. Uh, it's all black and white, and it sounds yeah. really as can be. I saw the trailer for the new Netflix movie they're making. People will hate it, but I think it looks pretty good. I just hope they don't, like, have too much action. They like the... Kind of mouse I little don't. Little. If a blue coin disappears, a uh, guy Udon Udon no, I, I can't exactly see your name in full clarity. If a coin disappears, then the then the paint thing on the wall just reappears and you try again. Yeah, you can try That's as it. many times as you want. You don't have to exit the level and come back. That would be stupid. The fuck is oh, that yeah. enemy? What the hell? Thank I never God. even saw that before. Oh, that jellyfish. It's, an, it's an Alolan blooper. Huh. Oh, you <laughs> Did you see I? You see I uh, added added that to the view review. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate that. You know, mm. I, mean, I want to say something about the Death Note trailer. Wait, wait a second. I don't, Are you oh, talking yeah, about the movie? I thought the, I thought the stream cut for a second. It was just loading. Uh, I'll just refresh it. I think. Uh. I think I I don't like the fact that it seems like Ryuk is going to entice. Light to kill somebody. Yeah, they're, they're kind like of playing light. the angle that oh, he was a sociopath who wanted to kill people all along. This just gave him an easy way to do it. No, no, they're trying to push the angle of like Ryuk is the one that pushed him over the edge when it was only himself to blame. Ah, uh, really? All he said was like, "Hey, why don't you just try it out, dude? See what happens." <laughs> I was gonna say, I think that Willem Dafoe I, was the perfect choice for him, channeling his old Norman Osborn voice. <laughs> Just <laughs> gonna be my favorite part of it for sure. We'll meet again, Spider Man! You and me can rule <laughs> this town, Spider Man! <laughs> God, it's amazing. Uh, he's gonna be my favorite part of that show. And it. Man, I can't believe the people who are getting so upset that L is a black guy is because he's not Japanese. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome to America. We've got a bunch of different people here. We're not all the same color as much as some people. I, I don't think before. that's the issue people have. I think it's the issue of like the fact that they couldn't cast Asian people for like an anime adaption. Oh uh, yeah. Oh, is it set in the U.S.? Yep. This this version then. Yep. But the whole There's point of Death Note, I guess it. it is an adaptation, but like... It, Death Note has a lot to do with Japanese culture, too. Like, the Shin Megami is not a made-up thing for Death Note. 
Yeah, I know. That's that's one of the yeah what you just said. That's one of the points people bring up when they say this is a Japanese special thing. Americans are appropriating it by even when, just watching it. I just think that a, a Japanese wow. setting would have been better. Holy crap! I have never gone over here. I didn't know you could go like this far away from the harbor. That's cool. Yeah, like you're supposed to come here with Yoshi, but the Yoshi you can't go here early. About about Death Note, I, I don't know. Here's the thing, they already made. Yeah, I think Death that's Note all we movies. can get for now. Twenty one blue coins. You can get twenty one blue coins on the very first shine. Nice. But yeah, they 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 already made Death Note movies that take place in Japan and have Asian actors, and played out exactly like in the anime with barely any changes to the dialogue or anything. And they even hired the voice actors from the cartoon for the English dub. And uh, here's the thing. They kind of suck. The, the movies are not that good. But hey, if you want something that's true to the source material, you can just go back and watch those. Like, what, did, did they expect them us to really make the exact same thing? No, they would rather we didn't make a Death Note adaptation at all. Just don't touch it. Just leave it alone. And let it be, well, live well enough alone. It's like you can't ask studios to do that to not to touch these properties. Like they're going to do it. Sorry for rambling about that. Ugh. Nah, it's all good. What's this guy? What's this guy doing here, lurking in the shadows behind that pillar? Is he peeping on people? I thought I didn't it. There's just a guy lurking behind a shadowy pillar back there. Alright. I got one of them. You only need to get the front two tentacles off. The other two will, will never reach you. I just have to wonder why this poor guy even wants a cork stuck in his mouth at all times. Is it just that he can't help dribbling and making a mess and it's embarrassing for him? Uh, I, I feel like someone put it on him. Like, uh, is it really I'm like not sure how he got there, but... When you pull the tentacles off, they just keep going like... <laughs> yeah, they wriggle around because they've still got some electric... Yeah. Electrosensory input on them. Hey, grab that, son of a bitch. Right. I've seen like a video of somebody taking a squid or maybe it was a cuttlefish and like cutting it apart while it was alive and extracting the brain, just preparing it for like sushi. It was brutal, but I swear that's like the, the rest of the body was feeling around looking for its own head, like, oh, where is it? And like, no, no, it's already dead. Boy, that got dark. I'm surprised you don't see anybody eating bloopers in this game, with there being so much food everywhere. I wouldn't be surprised. I feel like I feel like there was a, a Mario game. I don't remember which one where you could eat bloopers or someone ate bloopers. Ugh. Yeah. Well. Is anybody else available to join the chat? You are is Dan around? Twelfth through the game. Oh my gosh! I just realized we've already been here like an hour. Yeah, but we've made good progress. Yeah. I do like how the bright spot in the middle of the the plaza gets bigger the more shines you collect. It's like at the start, it's, it's like they, they, you hear so many like, stories where it's like, Oh no, our land is going to be covered in darkness forever. But they say it as some immaterial, you know, fantasy thing. It's like, no, no, literally, we, we, we've lost our son. We've lost mm. our son. The travel is just going... Oh, oh this, this oh. one. Oh boy. Yeah. Oh, this isn't the oh, the red coin one. Shit. I like how they change you know. things around in each episode. Like, some of these structures were not here before. Oh. Uh, yeah, I mean, the boats weren't there. Fellas. I'm gonna, yes. I'm gonna head out, because I'm feeling tired. I still am oh. recovering from the wisdom teeth, as you know. Oh, oh alright. Yeah, that's oh, why I haven't okay. been talking a lot and sort of phasing in and out. 
Ah, uh, it's okay. All right. Uh, well, fellas, thanks well. for having me. I'll see you later. Yep, no yep. problem. Thanks for joining us. Goodbye. Mark, um, my problem was not the final boss. It was getting to it because of the stupid mud boat. The, the boss itself is easy, but... Uh, I mean, it might take you a few tries, but it's not like a hard boss or anything. Now, I do know that all these bloopers have different stats, technically. I don't know which one does what. I always just use the yellow one, and it's worked fine. Alright, so pro strat. That was unfortunate timing. Oh boy, I can't wait to see this. Well, shit. That's oh, not what I wanted to do. <laughs> Look at me. Uh, the, the, the death jingle. You know, it, it's just like clown noises. Yeah. Yeah, it's adorable. Well, they really try to make it comical. Like, oh man, you fucked up so bad, dude. Alright. Yup. That's what I'm talking about. Derp counter two. <laughs> He's going with a derp counter. Because because he figures you're good I enough. I think at it's the game I made that, a derp. Uh okay. I think it's because he figures you're good enough at the game that most of the times you die it is gonna be because of some silly mistake. Yeah. I'm not um a studied speedrunner for this game, folks. I've played it many times, but I'm not an expert by any means. Oy vey. 50 blue is coins. Any, is there anyone who wants to join the, the voice chat? Hey, you got an opening. Three people's probably okay. I don't know where Dan is. Is this the Dan? No, Dan's not home. He can't join. Mm. Well, shite. Right. Next shine. Retropolis Zone. Oh, you know side Haydox. quest gamer. He, he just asked, hey, dogs, do you like Matt Pat? You know, you know he just left. <laughs> hey, let me go grab, um, what's his face? What's going on? Oh, I'm not joining that call. That sounds like a bad idea. So wait, how many shines were you hoping to get like this time? Like 30, 40, 50, half? Um, I was planning on finishing the first few levels as far oh, as I could go. Uh, let's see, let's add uh, some people Alger to the call. See if he'll pick up. Okay. Um, okay, Frank, you know that's not appropriate. <clears throat> Uh, can you hear me? Yep, I can hear you. Oh, sweet. Now you can stop being a dick to him in the chat, uh, the text chat, and start being a dick to him in the voice chat. <laughs> Indeed. I'll go easy on ya. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, when I, here's, right. here's my, how I see it. <laughs> like, um, I like, when I'm in the, when I'm in a call with someone, they're doing a live stream, I represent their brand and all that, so... I'm gonna go easy on them. I don't want. I don't want to sell your brand or anything like that. That'd be. That'd be horrible on my part. Yeah, you know, the 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 high quality brand of Exo Paradigm Gamer. Well, it is pretty high quality. I mean, you didn't get those three three thousand subscribers out of nowhere. Holy crap! Oh, uh, that's. That's what. What's up? Well, this is uh, when we first met. I could swear you had like just around the same number I did, but. Oh. Wow. Thirty three thousand. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. Yeah, I mean, it's it gets. What happens is it gets like, I get a bunch of people whenever I upload something, and that just slows to a crawl. The one thing that is kind which of makes scary, sense. The one thing that is kind of scary about YouTube automatically unsubbing people these days because oh they don't use their account anymore or whatever, is is when it gets to a point where you're losing people faster than you're gaining new ones, and that number starts going down precipitously. Is it, I don't know, it's easy to wonder, like, oh jeez, am I one day only going to have a hundred again, and barely anyone's gonna watch me? 
I don't think you have to worry about that. I don't really care Especially about you made that video. I'll be honest, I don't really care about the subscribers, but when I get like less comments than I used to, I'm like, oh no, did I do something wrong? Yeah, part of it is, um, people still comment well, on YouTube. Maybe they're just too objective for your channel, Alex. <laughs> yes, exactly. People still comment on YouTube a good amount, but here's the thing. People probably don't comment as much anymore because they have other ways to express themselves now. It started with things like the like button, before that it was the five stars, but you got stuff like Instagram and Snapchat, where it's like all you have to do is, you know, press a button and boom, you, you know, you, you faved it, you hearted it, or you, you shared it. And people are just getting more used to that instant kind of engagement, rather than taking the time to type out a you know, lengthy comment about whatever the crap. Yeah, I mean, it's like, sometimes when I go, um, sometimes I make videos, I don't expect all my friends to watch and all that, but I'm like, um, my friend Gavin, he mentioned that he watched my deep Donkey Kong videos, I'm like, you watch those? Well, that's surprising, because he's, <sighs> it's a simple kind of game and all that, it's just like, I expect that people who don't leave comments so didn't watch the video, <laughs> so I'm like, um, Retropolis seems pretty upset that Haydox left. Yeah. How was Hadox doing now? He's got some oh, good riddance. Removed. It's funny, I Oh, uh, yeah, both him and Dan got their wisdom teeth removed. Hey, I guess I'm pretty lucky. My wisdom teeth are barely causing me any pain. I only have two. They're on my top jaw. One of them came down like a couple years ago. The other one is just starting to now. And they barely cause me any trouble. I just have to brush them like twice as much. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> okay, what am I, what am I doing? Alright, let me check, I'm going to unbox a Kylo Ren action figure. <laughs> what bad, was that? Huh? Were you just uh, doing an impression of somebody with, wait, were you just doing an impression of somebody recovering from getting their wisdom teeth removed? No, that was, uh, Mr. Plunkett. Ah. <laughs> oh my god, I would imagine Dan would sound like... Hello everyone, I am King K, and I got my wisdom teeth removed. I apologize for my voice, but I am on Cody right now. <sighs> I gotta say, like, I think sun my favorite parts of Sunshine are not, like, um, I like how, um, these, like, 2D platforming sections, because it feels traditional, yet new at the same time, I mean... I know 2D. what you mean. Oh, uh, oh! Uh, yeah, I mean, think about it. this is essentially yeah. like 2D Mario in a 3D space. It's it's like all the platforming challenges and all that. It's all in 3D. It's it's kind of neat. It's very linear. It's what you come to expect, but it's very tricky, and that's what's so satisfying about it. <laughs> you know, it's kind of fitting that Retropolis just asked me to rain on on his crops because I I do have to go pee. So whatever, I'll, I'll go. Uh, oh yeah. damn. <laughs> oh my god. It's like that's how that's how God does it. He just pees and then that, that becomes our ring. <laughs> oh, that was close. <laughs> I'll be right back. And that was that was a clinch moment. They call me Clinch Master Flex. Okay. Isn't it great to have a camera, an actual analog camera control? Isn't that great, Alec? Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering if you caught that, because I don't think you ever mentioned it. I saw that, I'm like, god damn it. <laughs> I, I, it oh, took, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I would I have, I would have like, went on not pre-rendered, not preset angles, not camera centering, actual analog camera yeah, control. If you're a funny man, Jerry, funny man! <laughs> that was, Jerry? That was an accident. <laughs> Uh, Alright. Very graduated cylinder. <laughs> I'm agnostic now. My my DD is a great graduated cylinder. Uh, it's not as cool as this flying spaghetti monster, unfortunately. Well, uh, this flying spaghetti ma monster is an enemy of the great cylinder. Okay. Those who believe in the great spaghetti monster will go to the big butts and burner underground after they die. That's adorable. Mm hmm. Hmm. <laughs> so, wh where are we heading? Stone Rico Harbor. At least forget. Can somebody remind me 
uh, where you find the um, turbo nozzle in this level. Like, beside, is it the one at the beginning? Or is there like another location you have to go to? I could have, I could have sworn it was like on top of the construction. Uh, there, there's a rocket nozzle oh. up there, but... It's been so long since I played this game. I can't remember what I even need it for, but I remember needing it for something. Maybe it was that one coin I got with the slide, but who the hell knows. Where's Jay? Fuck you. I need I need his incels to trigger me. Let's see. Well, I'm just too busy for that shit, so there. <laughs> I'm too busy working on Sonic Advance 2, because I'm Jay of Jay's Refugees. Let's see. You gotta believe in the Overlord Mamas. What? <laughs> I don't know what I don't know what they mean. What is it? 27 or 26? 26 I have. I'm trying to remember what I could be missing. 21. Alright. No. I like how the map is kinda of shaped with Del, but it's kinda of adorable. Oh! Yeah, the, it isn't called Isle Delfino for nothing. Holy shit, how many how many Gooper Blooper appearances are there in this level? Uh, two. Oh. Just like how you fight Pia Piranha twice. God. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's less than That's bo Big bob -omb, but jeez. No, you only fight Big bob -omb once. Uh, Big bob -omb, yeah, you actually fight twice. Um, twice. You fight him twice in the remake, but, you know. It's still not like three times. You fight Gooper Blooper three times well, I in total. Like, um, the, the, like um, the, the ice, ice boy as the, um, the third. Uh, well, I mean, it was functionally identical to the other one, though. Exactly. Thing. It was nothing more than like a. Okay, I won't say a palette swap because they had a like. Um, actually it's it's, model it's the same idea. As the same enemy behavior, just. Like, they literally. They, well, I mean, I guess they technically change his model because his horns look different, but. Game like, his take. body is just like a 2D texture that's has like an opacity map on it. Thank you, Game & Take. You insulted me. Now I can... Uh, um... Dark side. And we're back with Sonic Adventure 2. We're getting all 180 albums. Hopefully we'll play Green Hill Zone by the end of the day. Oh. Wow. I did get all the A-Rinks. Uh, but then I found out that I needed the Chow Garden. I was like... Eh. Question. I just sort of dropped yeah, it. Sorry, I had, sorry I, was so, I, I, I had to pee for so long, but I'm back. Those, uh, those crops should grow just now. Unlock Green Hill Zone will act without actually doing the efforts to get all the A ranks and stuff in Sonic Adventure 2. You nope. might be able to use, like, uh, game action replay or gecko or something. I don't think I did it. I, I fed my chow, I raised him, I won all the races and karate tournaments and everything, and then I got to play Green Hill Zone and it was total letdown. Nah, I'm kidding, it's great. <laughs> I mean, it looks like mm -hmm. the best rendition of a 3D Green Hill Zone out there, but... I just never put in the effort to actually unlock it because... I don't like raising chow. It's too much of a pain. <laughs> There's one thing about Sonic-related stuff. I don't know if anybody here knows about Belina Productions. Um, he's a uh, yeah, he makes uh, some pretty good oh, videos, Sonic, but like Sonic Christmas special or something like that. Yeah, unfortunately, a lot of people know him as a Sonic Zombies guy, and they're always pestering him to make new ones, even though he said he never would. He doesn't want to. But mm -hmm. uh, recently, for like Sonic's birthday, he he played through Sonic Heroes and. It was a pretty good stream overall. I had, I had a lot of laughs, but the last five minutes, oh man, I had to pause a few times just because I was laughing so hard. Just going through the the credit sequence after the final story, it becomes a total shit show. Like he, he messes <laughs> around with the lyrics, like "Watch me take the bus." He, uh, he starts doing these impressions of Roger Craig Smith near the end, and his interpretation of Sonic, and it's so spot on, I could swear it's him. But it's like, he go like, Hero Heroes, or he'll be like, Sonic Heroes! <laughs> yeah, like those yep, weird moments uh, where... Up Your Arsenal still my favorite one. Those weird moments where Roger Craig Smith tries to sound emotional as Sonic, and it really doesn't work because it feels so fake. The values the rest of the time. So anyway, 
Yes, I guess I'm just giving him a little shout out. The last five minutes of that stream were great. I think you might get a laugh out of that, Mike. Well, you might remember that uh, that guy threw threw shade at me once, so I'm not I'm not super super excited about going to watch something from him. Oh. Oh wait. What? Why do you say? You talk about like that. Oh, I've, I, I've, I know I've told you about this before, Nick. I'm sorry. I think I've. Oh, jeez. All right, forget it. Sorry about that. Jeez, this is the worst possible time I could have bust right. something up like that. Ugh. Sorry. Wait, oh, bullying? Yeah. Did not. I thought. Uh, I mean, I Martin. heard that. I heard that through someone else. Like I never saw it directly, but I don't know. Who knows? It probably happened. Hmm. All right, well, I, I won't bring him up again in this stream. I mean, I throw shit at uh, you, but we're still friends. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if I can get that yet. <laughs> I, just, I just love it when people add their own stupid lyrics to a song. You know, like that part of the is like, Watch me take a dump. <laughs> yeah, I can get that one. Let's see. And there's that oh. one and the bug. And that oh. should be it. All right. I thought you like tripped and fell over the side of the beam. I didn't know you were going away on purpose. Oh, that's nice. They set up a little market here. The fish. Again, I'm surprised you don't see any dead. Yeah, the last, the last shine in the game, I think, is uh, or no, I mean the last shine in this stage you need Yoshi for. So we we'll have to come back later, and that's where the last two coins are. Hey, Axel. Um, I have a question for um all of the fans out there. What will you do with the Crash Ensign Trilogy ROR? Eh. I don't think you guys want me to. <laughs> Six oh, games. Six games in one video. That'd be a nightmare. I wouldn't. I wouldn't do them all in one video. If I were to do them, I would do one ep episode for each game. Uh, then maybe give like a final assessment of which is better overall. I, don't know, I 